Want to know the top five best locations to land in Apex Legends Season 5? I'm going to show you which places to go in this video. Let's do it. Welcome back to the channel, guys, where I give you all the tips, tricks, and guides on how to improve your gameplay in Apex Legends. I'm Warlug, and today I'm going to show you the best five places to land in Apex Legends Season 5. Now, a lot has changed in this season, particularly to Kings Canyon. And this video, just to get it out of the way, guys, is going to be just about Kings Canyon, not World's Edge. World's Edge hasn't changed a bit since Season 4, but the new changes in Season 5 have all applied to Kings Canyon. So we're just going to talk about this map just as a quick reminder guys if you have any questions about this video i do stream every friday saturday and sunday over on twitch the link is going to be down in the description below to so join me over there okay now that that's out of the way let's get back on track the biggest change to king's canyon was the destruction of skull town oh no our beloved skull town yes guys skull town is gone my favorite place to drop is gone okay not only skull town but respawn added a few locations to make this beautiful map even better but now with Skull, Skull Town gone, what locations are best to land at? Which places have good loot? Have better escape routes and redeploys? Well, I have all that here in this list. Now, this list isn't in any particular order, guys. So for those of you that are like, oh, well, this place is better than that place. And this place has better loot than that place. How is that one number one? No. Okay. These aren't ranked in any particular order. These are just the best five places to land in Apex Legends. And they're all going to be based on the following criteria loot tier the location on the map the escapability and the prop popularity of the location and with that said guys let's get into number one artillery still one of the best locations to this day in apex legends been here since season one launch the loot tier is high providing some of the best loot in the game through multiple buildings eight loot crates and for god's sakes it's a military base of course it's going to have good loot Although this map location is rather weak being on one edge of the map, which can make rotations a bit difficult through the tunnels, but it does have a redeploy and one respawn beacon just in case a teammate goes down. Because of artillery's location on the map, it doesn't attract too many players unless the dropship's path is rather close to it, which makes artillery one of the best places to still to land in Season 5. Coming up next is Runoff. Again, another location that's been here since launch. Runoff is still one of the best unchanged locations since the start of Apex. This high tier loot location comes with a labyrinth building of loot, four loot crates, and a newly added feature in the ultimate charge stations. So now you can quickly loot and charge everyone's ultimate all in one go. But one of the biggest selling points to run off is the small village behind it. If left uncontested, your team will have so much loot you won't, won't know what to do with. The location of runoff is not the best, but not good either. Again, on one edge of the map, but re the respawn beacon and redeploy make rotating out of runoff rather easy. Next on the list is containment. Containment was added to this list purely on its location. Containment does spawn medium to high tier loot with a combined four loot crates and building, specifically the building down in the corner next to the zip line. The location of containment is by far one of the best in the game. Located mostly in the center of the map, it makes not only zone placement easy, but rotating a breeze. The biggest thing I like about containment and I use specifically in competitive play is the building I mentioned before with the zip line. If challenged, landing on the bottom part, looting and then taking the zip line up to the overwatch makes looting feel like stealing. The biggest flaw to containment is only the one respawn beacon and no redeploy which makes sense for its center location. All right, now let's get to some newer locations in Kings Canyon. Rig is one of the new locations added to Kings Canyon, and I think this location is going to be a favorite not only in pubs, but competitive as well. It comes equipped with an alt station, multiple buildings, and nine loot crates. But more than that, you have a small village right next to it, followed by a zip line. The location is great, has two redeploys, an easy navigate to any zone, three zip lines, and two respawn beacons. Rig has it all, guys. The only downside to Rig is its location. It's in the back corner of the map where Relay used to be, but with the with the zip lines and the two redeploys, it kind of evens out. Last on the list, guys, is Capacitor. This is probably one of my new favorite places to land. It's a new addition added to Kings Canyon, but let me tell you first that exploring this location and seeing three alt charge stations, oh my god, I was like, Lifeline is going to love this place. 
The location is large enough with five buildings and a whopping 10 plus loot crates. So there's plenty of loot to go around. It's a relative hot drop though, I've noticed. So be careful with enemy teams at Capacitor providing easy escapes through a tunnel leading to labs, which you can use the portal or a zip line to redeploy. The location is relatively placed off center of the map, so rotations won't be too hard, but overall this location is amazing place for early loot, alts, and some quick skirmishes. So guys, that does it for my top five locations to drop in Kings Canyon in season five. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite place to drop is and why. I hope this video really helps you out in the Apex games, guys. Again, if you have any questions, I do stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on Twitch. The link is going to be down in the description below. If you want to see more videos on how to improve your Apex Legends gameplay, don't forget to drop a like, guys. It really does help out the channel. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss out on new guide videos. And for me, Warlog, as always, stay gaming, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.